What's up, Naruto people? I have an update of my Naruto Lightning Rasengan deck. Uh, it's just gonna be a quick update because in the last video I posted, I made a mistake with the deck list. I'll go over it when I get to it, but I'm gonna start off with the zeros. Like I said, it's gonna be pretty quick. Three Track Ninja, three Naruto Childhood, two Shion, two Kushina, and then one drops, three Naruto clone, and two Naruto and Shadow clone. So the explanation for this is I completely forgot that this platoon's name is Naruto Uzumaki and Shadow clone, and this clone and the other clone are both named Naruto Uzumaki clone, so you can't platoon with them. Uh, super easy mistake to make but I had to <clears throat> change the zero drops and like the one drops to accommodate that and so that's why I put in the three Naruto childhood so that I can platoon into this early and I didn't want to play the other zero drop Naruto that draws you a card because I like having access to the three drop Naruto's so uh, two of these because this guy searches for any Uzumaki, so that's cool. He can search Kushina. He's not like the other clone though. He can't search for Konohamaru Ninja Squad, but not really a big deal. And then three of these ones because you want to see both of these, uh, and you're only searching for like if you only draw the one clone or you messenger ninja into it. You're only getting the one search unless you have another clone in hand because these guys have non-unique, which is also cool about them. But just bumped up the numbers for those just so you can see the childhood into the platoon earlier. And then you can still do your turn three Naruto to growth over the platoon when it's not like as useful anymore. So... Continuing with the ones, not really any changes here. Mobile Wii, Inkfish, Shion Awakened, KNS. Same three drop Naruto lineup. Four drops, same thing. Fives, six, and seven is the same. And then missions, three, research, same. Messenger Ninjas, three of those, same. Two group lesson, one all goes memory, same. And then I added in uh, one Toad Sage because one of the best things you can do in this deck is Younger Days, Fourth Hokage, Mastery, Summoning Jutsu. And if you get a bunch of Toads stuck in your hand, that's going to suck. So Toad Sage can put them back and it breaks you even on cards. So it's pretty cool. And then Jutsu's... Big Bang, same. Release, same. The Rasengan's, same. Three Explosions, same. Two 2K Barrage, two Summoning Jutsu, same. Uh, another thing to note with the Zero Drop Naruto's, it's because I'm opting for this one over the Zero Drop that draws you a card. This one doesn't have clone status, so he can't play your Rasengans, but he's really just in there so you can platoon into your Naruto and Shadow clone. So it's not really a big deal. Uh, one more thing is since Naruto and Shadow clone, uh, they don't have name clone, it's Naruto and Shadow clone, you can have your clones out like when he's out so that's pretty cool that's one of the things that I was thinking about when I was making the deck before when I like didn't realize this discrepancy uh, is that I wouldn't be able to play my clones while I have the Naruto and Shadow clone platoon out but you can totally do that because they're not the same name as on the platoon and like I said before these guys have non unique so honestly in this deck i think it might be a little better than the growth one because if the other one 
is injured or takes damage, its effect isn't uh, valid. So with these guys, they can get injured and then you can just like play your next one and it's non-unique and you just get your search. The other one you can't really, if you want to growth over an injured one, which you want them to be injured because they have higher combat, uh, you don't get the search, so. That's it. Let me know what you guys think.